Hi Susan, this video is going to go through instructor setup of the Cengage MindTap access in your course. First, what you're going to want to do is go into your control panel under customization and tool availability to make sure that all the Cengage MindTap tools are turned on and they are listed alphabetically. Here we go. We don't have our MindTap tool turned on there and the others are. So now we're going to click submit to save those settings. Now when you go into a content area, and I'm just going to make one here in your course for MindTap. I'm going to make it available to users so students have access to it as well. And when we go into that area, in our publisher content menu, Cengage Mind Links. Oh, apologize, I have to be enrolled in your course. And now that we have that, we can see that the American government textbook is here. So we want to click on that. And we want to create a new MindTap course. And we'll give it a name. And we enter our start date. We can use that as today. And then we want it to be available through the end of the semester. And I'm just going to go a little bit beyond. And then we have to select our time zone and continue. It can take just a couple of minutes for that to connect. And then we'll click continue again and again. And then we'll be given the option of where in the course we want to put the content. We'll just go ahead and leave it here as the mind tap button and submit. And that's going to create a link to the entire course including the ebook and all the other MindTap tools. When you first click on it, you'll want to make sure if you don't see the box pop up, you'll want to make sure that your browser's pop-ups aren't um, pop-ups aren't being disabled from your browser, so you want to check your pop-up settings. Then you'll get the user agreement, so you'll read through that very very carefully and click accept when you're finished. Then you'll see the textbook here and you'll click enter. There's a layover on the, fir the first time you log in on the screen which kind of explains some of the different areas and you can close that with a Lex here. And then you'll have access to each of the different parts of the book and all of the different tools. And you'll also have access to the full ebook here which you can page through or you can go through the table of contents and select individual chapters and sections to get to. There's also flashcards and an audiobook as well as a couple of other tools there. So uh, your students will have a very similar experience and I have a link to a student video showing them how to access the course for themselves. Have a great semester!